Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another get ready with me. We talked about some current beauty drama. Girl, we kind of talked about a lot of stuff. So if you guys need somebody to hang out with, if you guys need a bestie, just keep Okay, on. we're starting out with the brows today. We're doing NYX. I, girl, I'm out of breath. I wanna redo my nails. It, I do the same color every single time. Oh God. I always wipe off the excess of the product because this is like a really intense product and that just went a little crazy. Definitely see me go through a few nail phases, but my favorite nail phase always is gonna be my natural nails with this light pink nail color on it. And I will leave it linked down below. By the way, I do not like earn commission off of the links that I have down below unless I specifically tell you guys, but I'm literally just doing it for your ease. For you guys so you can try it out as well um it's literally like three dollars from aliexpress and it's like one of my favorite colors ever it's so neutral by the time that i'm ready to like redo my nails the red from my hair stains them so they get a little bit more pink and i'm sick of that by the end of two weeks so i'm ready to go back so i first do my nails it's almost it's like borderline leaning white with a tint of pink but i was reflecting on my past videos um earlier today i just uploaded my strawberry makeup video so i was Reflecting on my other videos when I first came back to YouTube my first like five or six videos my brows were looking Way too light like I know you guys I told you guys that I'm scared of like My brows getting too dark or looking too thick or blocky, but I was like, okay So but they don't have to be non-existent They don't have to be non-existent. So <laughs> I took constructive criticism by myself and decided to go a little bit darker today in my last video i tried making this video yesterday literally right when i got back because i went to sephora i went to sephora ulta and target i used the elf no budge stick like highlighter pen sort of thing and it ruined my makeup by the time i redid like the bottom half of my makeup i had to go because i was actually getting ready to go somewhere so i was just so annoyed i was like oh my gosh all i want to do is film and the budge stick ruined it i was pissed I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, I think I was going to try to tell you guys. I used to let my past videos affect me so much. And to the point where like I wouldn't even want to film anymore. But so fed up with feeling like that. That I literally told myself. I decided. I just decided. I'm no longer going to feel like that. I literally don't care. Like my past videos are in the past. Who cares? We just got to keep moving forward, girl. And I'm just going to keep pushing out content. I decided that and I got this book oh my gosh it's called for women who overthink and I feel like it has already helped me in my mindset and I don't feel like as alone I was actually inspired to start reading from Reagan on TikTok she does she did this challenge called the 75 hard challenge and that was just so motivating to me to like see her do that and one of the elements was reading 10 pages I don't know if it was reading 10 pages, but I know some sort of reading was like involved in the challenge. And I used to love reading you guys. Like I would fall asleep reading when I was young. That my favorite, my favorite like subject in school was always language arts, English, all that sort of stuff. So I was like, why, literally why have I not start reading again? Like what is wrong with me? It's not super expensive. I think it's like less than, less than $15 to finish it to give you guys my full thoughts. But so far I'm, I'm really loving it and I read it before I went out as soon as I went out I started catching myself like overthinking the most random things like, I was overthinking stuff that normal people do not think about literally at all and there's like a few tools in that book that help you to recognize when you're overthinking and how to correct it in its tracks because girl you have to build a habit so to build a habit you obviously have to apply yourself so as I was overthinking, I literally, in my head, I'm like, I recognize that I was overthinking. I'm like, okay, this is not real. These are like not real scenarios. And what happens when I overthink is like, I think of one scenario and then it snowballs. And then I start thinking of outside factors that literally don't matter at all. Like completely random stuff that has nothing to do with the actual like scenario at hand. And it just goes out of control. Yeah, there's a few pages in that book that actually helped me on how to catch myself doing that. So I'm really excited. Honestly, I'm just trying to better myself girl in any means possible in any way that I can in the beginning of the book They were saying that women are the ones who suffer the most from overthinking That's why it's called women who think too much That's not to say that men don't overthink because 100% I know that's a fact that they do the way that we're wired We are naturally more prone to overthinking. So if you guys 
have been struggling with that and nobody has like taught you tools because nobody taught me tools on how to not like reverse it but how to manage it better it's almost like i'm teaching myself therapy keep me hold me accountable for letting you know how that book ends i i swear if i like really apply myself i could finish it in like a few days 100 percent for sure i'm gonna move into the eyes i feel like norm face butts i truly believe whatever you do first is what you pay most attention to so normally ultimately i would love to do my brows last because i would love to give them the least amount of tension so that way i'm not putting too much product in my brows but since i use such like heavy glues and stuff i kind of have to do it first so annoying just prime my face with the trixie cosmetics first base priming spray and that is why my face looks so glowy they are now live i realized that when i was talking about it in my prior videos they had not even launched yet but now they have launched so 15 dollars amazing love obsessed you won't regret it and look how cute you guys know i do falscara so my lashes are almost always on which honestly helps me so much when i'm doing my makeup and like throughout my makeup routine because my lashes are already on girl it's half the work is done half the work is done oh. my cat here's the dog outside is like going crazy right now this beautiful gorgeous girl and she was doing like a subtle but intense smoky eye with a wing with my trusty ColourPop eyeliner this is in the shade sunnyvale it's so creamy you guys are gonna see like going i'm gonna make like the most awkward weird face right now this one right here is from persona it's actually a double-ended brush this is the line side and this is the detail side i love this for wing liner so before that dries i wouldn't wait that long to blend it out so i feel like that looks kind of hard as i was doing it and low-key it was so i feel like if you look at my eyes right now i feel like i put a little bit too much eyeliner right in the middle of my eye with the tarlet in bloom eyeshadow palette this is an all just kidding i was gonna say it's all matte it's definitely not an all matte palette but we're gonna take let's take the shade rebel right here and I'm, I'm gonna take it on another persona brush on it's just like a tiny little smudger brush smoke out our little wing that we have here just give it a little bit more dimension this is going right on top of that eyeliner don't worry too much about how it looks right now because it's gonna look a little crazy I'm going to clean up the wing i already did this side over here so you guys can kind of see the difference of the two we'll take concealer and we're gonna take a good amount of concealer like really want to load up your brush so when we're going and when we're swiping it on our eyes going to glide does that make sense do you guys see how that just glided on and then go in blend out this concealer line hula by benefit in the crease and just did a few finishing touches i feel like it's just a good idea to start with your eyes make them the focal point and then move on to something else does that make sense you're not like focusing too much on one thing my face is not self-tanned at all right now so it's looking a little yellow babe um what else oh i ordered and she lip liner off of tiktok shop girl i was scrolling i've seen so many people try it and for some reason i'm like why I don't know why i haven't tried it yet i love kimchi products so i'm super late to the game but i didn't know that all of the powder all the kimchi powders were out of stock i've been wanting to get them for so long i now they're all sold out and i actually can't try it even if i wanted to which is so annoying <laughs> they have like mini ones but none in the shades that i actually want but that's okay because we got the lunar beauty powder and the kimchi lip liner i got the shade toast i was that was going to be most similar to like honey by morphe or sweet tea cinnamon spice from essence you guys know like my favorite lip liners so jacqueline hill do her like weekly beauty favorites which was talking about the makeup by mario hopefully also i'm saying that right i really don't know because i know it looks like mario but is it mario girl i don't know but she was talking about the lip liner in the shade hue and she said it was like the perfect pinky nude like rosy dusty pinky nude with a little bit of brown in it so i went and i bought it and it's right here it's huge first of all the packaging this is enormous it actually comes with a sharpener like an actual whole sharpener inside of there which is like so random <laughs> i don't know what i was expecting but i was not expecting that to be in there 
I was wondering why the packaging is so big. I'm like, dude, what the hell is in here? Tried out today with like a full glam on. That is Sephora that you think I should try. The first, I've got so many requests to try the Makeup by Mario foundation as well as the House Labs foundation. I saw them both in store, but I'm just so obsessed. You guys know, I'm just so obsessed with my e.l.f. Halo Glow. I'm like, literally, what could be better than this? Especially concealer. My cream bronzer first, which you guys know I don't normally do that because I go a little overboard with it. So I usually like to start with my concealer and build my cream bronzer on top of that. Well, for some reason I forgot the routine that I do and just started putting it on. So I think this is actually gonna be way too much concealer. Think about Jaclyn Hill closing down her brands. I think it's a bold move for sure, but finally some accountability is being taken. And you guys know I'm a Jaclyn Stan. Love her. I feel like after she got married, everything just opened up. Like I feel like her eyes opened up, her mind opened up. She's uploading more and she's just realizing things. To be honest, like it takes a lot of guts to come online and share to the world that you're closing your brand and you are not made for like owning and operating businesses like i feel like the beauty space kind of moved from actual like beauty content and creation to like owning brands and selling products and so it basically went from these people started as normal people they moved to influencing online being in the public eye to then making products and owning brands and selling it and becoming CEOs. So it's kind of like a crazy progression that happened, but I feel like almost every single person in beauty YouTube era, like circa 2016, did that exact, like those exact steps. Some of them flopped and some of them went crazy, you know? Do you imagine owning a brand? Just for a second, let's take Jacqueline Hall out of it because I feel like she's pretty controversial. Let's say you or your best friend own a, let's say your best friend owned a brand and she was like getting all this hate and she finally decided like, okay, yeah, like this is not for her. And she had to go in the public eye and tell everybody like, how would you feel for her about that? But I feel like sometimes we put these influencers on such a pedestal and we act like they're not normal people, like dealing with normal problems on the everyday basis which they quite literally are. If anything, they're more quote unquote like us than celebrities. It's so weird because like in my head, I'm finishing the thought, but I feel like out loud I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, also what are we thinking about James Charles' new brand, Painted? What are our thoughts and opinions on that? So sweet that you asked me. I think think what everybody else is thinking low-key like it took him a little too long to come out with this i think that his brand could have went way crazier back when painting on your face and like drawing things i went through that phase as well was like super popular and popping and especially when he was still doing it i feel like that's not really a trend anymore and we've kind of moved into this like clean girl model skin glass skin era i think that the timing is off and i didn't buy anything and I don't plan on buying anything just because I don't know. I don't know. Like what, like literally what am I going to do with that? Okay. Good Lord. That freaking Jouer concealer is so full coverage. Like I'm used to my Tarte Shape Tape and that is full coverage to me. But girl, I cannot fake him up. You guys, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Okay. We're just going to use Hula. Don't tell anybody though. All right, going in with bronzer brush. This is from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna lightly kind of like smack myself in the face with it, I guess. I miss when the beauty community was huge. And I just saw this TikTok on how to transmute jealousy and I never realized that I do this anyways but she put it so beautifully into words whenever you feel jealous which you're not it's just a negative perception on something you desire does that make sense you can you truly can get anything that you want into you if you're feeling some form of jealousy it's because 
You are meant to have that. So try flipping your perspective. You start feeling jealous next time. Realize that you're feeling like that. Be like, okay, I'm just looking at this from a negative perspective and I need to flip it around. Essence Pink Flush just to give a little bit more life back into the cheeks because everything else on my face is so glowy. I don't want the only thing on my face to be like, I don't want the only thing matte on my face to be like my cheeks. Just always wipe off your jewelry after you're done with your makeup. If you the Maybelline Super Stay Powder, this is in the shade 102 Fair. This is a very brightening powder. Wait until you guys see what's about to happen right now. Oh my gosh, can you guys see how intense that is already? There's no other product on the sponge. So it is a thicker powder. You don't wanna use a lot of it. With the concealer, with the translucent powder and the foundation powder on top, your under eyes can get a little bit of cre little crepey. So make sure you're just careful with how much of this Super Stay powder you use, but it is, it's unmatched. I and I'll wipe it off on my little paper towel that I always have. That's another tip is to keep a paper towel always with you when you're doing your makeup how many times have you guys done your makeup and wanted to like wipe it on your pants or wipe it on your chair or your rug or whatever it is and it just trust me trust me as annoying as it is to like get up and get a paper towel and keep it with you um i usually keep a roll of paper towels with me like right next to my little makeup area right here so i don't have to like run back and forth all the time but it's gonna save you i promise it's gonna save you to give me a little bit more glow my Trixie setting spray so I could bring some life back into my face. To the Makeup Revolution setting powder. Okay, now we can do setting spray to lock everything in as well as bring some life back to the face. I just love when you can see like the light reflecting off. Okay, when I tell you I am scared to use this again but this is what we tried yesterday um i went to target and i picked this up this is the elf no bud shadow stick in the shade pearlescent perfectly pearl that's what it looks like right there and i've seen so many people rave about this that's why i grabbed it and everybody's using it for their inner corners so i'm like hell yeah i'm gonna use that for my inner corners well it literally ruined my whole makeup my whole inner corner was screwed and i was at the end putting this on kind of made everything mixed together and just look a little weird. So what we're gonna do, take it and a little brush. See, that looks pretty. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna stop there. Girl, I'm gonna stop there with this. Super cute. Now that looks bomb. I'm happy. First, this is what the packaging looks like. Very long packaging. I have to tell you guys, um, when I took it out of like the little slot at Sephora, I said, girl, one side is the pencil other side you have a little brush impressions this is the most full coverage lip liner i have ever used that's just so crazy to me because i have never thought of using the word full coverage for a lip liner but that's the first thing that came to mind when i use this it's also a little bit stiff i would say it's similar stiffness wise to the la girl sharpenable lip liners if you guys have ever tried those i love those lip liners especially for overlining i've said it in my super old videos that are honestly probably archived at this point but i really like them for overlining because since they are stiff you can really get that nice crisp line and you know it's not going to go anywhere sometimes with creamier or gel lip liners they can kind of slip and slide and move around i'm in love with the formula i'm in love with the way it sharpens i'm not sure how long it's going to last so i have to see that but i'm just not in love with the color this lip color has made me resort to using sweet tea and you guys know i have been trying not to use it but seeing how like pink this is i'm like no 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 i need some brown i need some brown in there and we're gonna use it daisy girl from lawless to my original coco k girl they look pretty similar lawless daisy girl coco k on the bottom is definitely way more it's definitely a little bit more peachy leaning a little bit more on the orange side so so i added a little bit of my primrose lipstick from revlon sponsored content that was due today with arctic fox that's over on instagram so make sure you guys check that out and um comment on there because i feel like sometimes sponsored it's so crazy because us as influencers like we're paid to promote products but i swear like certain sponsored posts and like videos just do not do as well as like my regular content so make sure you guys go over there and comment on that and i want to go in with my oh so beloved totally synced 
totally synced from Mac. You guys know I used to be obsessed with this. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. You guys are all beautiful and stunning. Do something for yourself today. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.